Welcome to science class. Today, we will continue to express concentration of solutions quantitatively by preparing different concentrations of mixtures according to uses and availability of material. Today's learning objectives. At the end of the learning episode, you are expected to Identify and describe the types of solution according to the amount of solute present in a given solvent. Calculate the percentage by volume of the given solutions. Explain the difference between percentage by mass of solution and by volume of solution. And manifest interest to read the product label when buying a certain product on the store. Before we have to start, you may answer five questions first. Read each question and write the letter of the correct answer. Which among the ways of determining the concentration of solution is used when both solute and solvent are liquid? A, B, or C? Number two, which of the following formula will be used to determine the percent by volume of a certain solution. A, B, or C. Post this video. Read, analyze, compute, and write the letter of the correct answer. Question number three. With their choices, Number four, and number five. Okay, are you done? You may now check your answers. Low scores? Don't worry, this is just a pretest. How are you, class? Another interesting topic will be discussed today. Do you have a garden at home? On the screen, you can see pictures of plants. Let us study concentration of solutions needed by plants to grow healthy and bear more fruits for us. Not just about plants, but also the concentration of solution we have at home. Like for example, are you aware of the concentration of alcohol solutions you are using as disinfectant at home? What's in your mind if the alcohol solution that you have is 70% solution? How about if you have 40% alcohol solution? Well, before we proceed to our discussion, let us check first your assignment last meeting. Step 1, we have here the given. Step 2, you are told to solve for the mass of the solute and the mass of the solvent. Step 3, we have here the formulas in order to solve the problems. Step 4, we have the substitution. And through computations, we found out that in a 200 grams of sugar solution, it is composed of 50 grams solute and 150 grams of solvent. Aside from percent by mass, what else is the other way of determining concentration of solutions? Yes, one way of determining concentration of solution is by using the formula of percent by volume. When we say percent by volume, it is the ratio of the volume of the solute with the volume of the solution. And the formula for this way is percent by volume is equal to the ratio of volume of the solute and the volume of the solution multiplied by 100. Take note, class, that when we say solution, it is always a combination of solvent and solute. For example, Solutions A and B both contain 200 ml of water. If solution A has 50 ml of food color, 
a solution B has 100 ml of food color, which one is more concentrated? Support your answer by determining the percent by volume of the solution. In step 1, we have here the given, the volume of solute, volume of solvent, and the volume of solution of solution A and solution B. Step 2, we are asked, to determine which of the solutions is more concentrated. Step 3, we have the formula in order to solve for the percent by volume. Step 4, we have to substitute the value of the formula. After substitution and mathematical operations, we found out that in solution A, the concentration is 20%, while that in solution B, the concentration is 33.33%. Therefore, our final answer, solution B is more concentrated because it is 33.33%, while solution A has only 20% concentration. Understand? To understand more about percent by volume, bring out your activity number one, then do problem solving on percent by volume. Read the objectives, the materials, and the procedure in your activity sheet number one. And don't forget to answer the guide questions correctly. Alright class! Come to think about this. Two of the many projects known in Pasig City is composting and urban gardening. Aside from fertilizer, another useful product of composting is an organic pesticide. In your activity number two, it is known as compost liquid substance or CLS that is used as the solute in preparing organic pesticide solution which is very significant in urban gardening. To respond the call of urban gardening in a new normal situation, bring out your activity number two, organic pesticide solution in composting. Read the objectives, the materials, and the procedure in your activity sheet number two. It is very important to listen to the video lesson carefully. Fill in the table with the given data, then do the computation to solve for the ratio of the volume of CLS and the volume of the solution in three setups. In setup A, 5 ml of compost liquid substance was added to a 200 ml of water. A 205 ml pesticide was used to spray a chili plant in the garden. Aphids were still living in the flowers and leaves of chili plant. Therefore, the solution is not effective to get rid of the aphids and insects. In setup B, 10 ml of compost liquid substance was added into a 200 ml of water. Then a 210 ml pesticide was used to spray a chili plant in the garden. The chili plant bears more fruits. Therefore, the solution is effective to let the aphids stay away from the plant. In setup C, 20 ml of compost liquid substance was added into a 200 ml of water. A 220 ml pesticide was used to spray the plants in the garden. Yellowish leaves and flowers are falling on the ground. Therefore, the solution is concentrated. It caused the plants to die. Using the given in setup ABC, what percent is compost liquid substance in a 200 ml of water as solvent? Fill in the table completely in your activity number two. Explain the significance of composting and urban gardening in the new normal situation. Bring out your activity number three. Comparing percent by mass and percent by volume. 
You have here the objectives, the procedure, and take a look with this problem, and these two special guide questions. This time, let us sum up the content of our lesson. Concentration of solution can be expressed quantitatively by determining its percent pay mass or its percent by volume. To compare percent by mass and percent by volume, we have here a table, wherein percent by mass is the ratio of the mass of solute in a given mass of the solution, while that percent by volume is the ratio of the volume of solute in a given volume of solution. For computations and problem solving, we have to use their formula. In a new normal situation, we need to recycle biodegradables in non-biodegradable waste for urban gardening. In your activity number 2, 5% pesticide solution was used to spray the plants for them to bear more fruits for us. Let us give attention to this problem. From the given down to its solution, it gives us this final answer. Based on the computation using percent by volume, concentration of the alcohol solution in bottle A is 70%, while that of bottle B is 40%. And we can conclude that alcohol solution in bottle A is more effective to use as antiseptic and disinfectant. For question number two, it is important to read the product label when buying a certain product on the store because by reading, we will be informed of the concentration of the solutions we are using every day. If you have additional answer to this statement, much better. You may now answer five multiple choice type of questions. Read, analyze, and write the letter of your correct answer. Number one, concentration of solutions can be determined by its percent by volume. In this way, what will be the state of the solute and the solution? A, B, or C? Number two, the solution contains 4.12 grams of solute dissolved in 100 grams of water. Which of the following formula should be used to determine the concentration of this solution? A, B, or C? Again, you can pause this video, read the questions, analyze and compute, then write the letter of your correct answer. Question number three, with its choices A, B, or C. Number four and number five. Okay class, are you done? You may now check your work. Who got perfect? Very good. For those who get wrong, more review is needed for you. Before I leave, may you take this as an inspiration. If you feel uncomfortable, just do your best, and God will do the rest. Goodbye, class.